Good evening, Internet. Hope that you are doing well. We are back for episode 999 of Chapter Sucker for Love. The Lonely Devil Arrives. Dates die for. This is The Lonely Devil Arrives, apparently. I've gone back and I've gotten the true ending for the first episode, and we got the ending for the second episode. So we should be good to go through and do uh, episode 999 and the secret episode. Huh? A cacophony of squeals and excited chattering rushes past the bookstore. The noise must have woken me up. Such commotion. No matter what all the fuss is about, it's far too late in the day to be causing such a ruckus. It's gotten late? Shoot! I was supposed to look for leads before sundown. For a year now, people mostly girls, have been disappearing from their homes all over the prefecture. At first, everyone thought they'd just run off together, but as more girls vanished without a trace, panic started to spread. They're last seen on the bus to Sacramento. Having grown up here, I can't just stand by while so many people go missing in my backyard. Wait, that horde outside sounded like a group of young girls. I should warn them, or at the very least follow after them. This could be a lead. And why do their voices sound familiar? without your books uh game game there we go okay whoops almost forgot thank you so much thank you for stopping in take care thank you moo i rush outside leaving the warm glow of the bookstore behind there's no trace of the girls this should be about where the bus dropped off the missing girls i better hurry and catch up with that group before i lose their trail in this fog it sounded like they were headed into the residential area through Gigi Alley. Were they chasing after someone? Hmm. Did I make a wrong turn? There's no sign of anyone. I can't hear the commotion anymore either. The fog here is oppressively thick too. If I keep note of the missing person posters along the wall, I should be able to find my way. There's only a few of them, so I can use them as markers. Was that a footstep? Who's that? Hello? No response. Was the wind too loud for my voice to be heard? Hello? I take a step toward the shapeless shadow in the mist and hear something crackle under my feet. Something wrapped up in construction paper. There's various footprints stamped across the surface. It's a photo of an old man eating spaghetti messily. It must have just been framed, but the glass is broken from being trampled. Someone from that group I heard must have dropped this. I sprint after them, only to smack right into something else a few steps in. Ow. Oop. I'm really sorry. Are you okay? Hey, don't sweat it. It was my fault for standing in the middle of the road. Oh, let me help you with your books. What a handsome boy. I've heard that men are going missing too. Are you headed for the bus stop? You might have already missed the last one. No, I'm actually looking for clues about those girls that have been go that have gone missing. Are you trying to find someone too? I'm looking for my girlfriend. Poor thing. Was she a part of that mob I heard earlier? What's her name? That depends. What's yours? Heh. <laughs> Bleh. That was so corny. Yeah, this guy's the worst. Hey, this may be a strange question, but do you not recognize me? Uh, should I? Sorry, have we met? I don't usually forget faces. Ah, that must be it. You must not have seen me on TV yet. I made that one song, Lonely Devil. Nope. Oh, wait, I know you. You're Captain Kidd, right? The one and only. He's a widely adored local idol that appeared out of thin air a year ago. No wonder he's wearing that disguise. I bet he can't even go to the store without getting mobbed. Hmm. Still nothing. That's strange. Because we're ace? Who'd you say you were looking for again? The girls that have go been going missing. You're not looking for me? Nope. Say, you are an out-of-towner, right? I mean, you obviously don't live here. I'd know who you are. I know everyone around here like family. <laughs> Weird. I'm not really an out-of-towner. I used to live here. It's where I'm staying while I'm looking. Show me. If you're really from around here, show me where you live. Uh, no. I feel eyes digging into me from all around. I can't see them, but it can't just be paranoia. I'm not doing anything, so let's go now. 
Oh, don't forget your bag. You... <gasps> so, you're the one Buck wants. Oh, you're the one I've been looking for all along. I'm suddenly madly in love with you. I don't, I don't believe you. Eh? In fact, I know it's so soon, but let's get married too. No thanks. After all, so long as you're alive, I'll never have eyes for anyone else. Never. Coming on a bit strong there, dude. Killer girls. Unseen hands desperately grab at me from all around, but I manage to shake off their, gri their grip with surprising ease and make a mad dash forward. Behind me are dozens of footsteps. What's going on? Why am I being chased? Who the hell is Buck? Before I knew it, I'd arrived at my ancestral home, sitting ominously alone in the fog. Honestly, what was in my bag that made them all want, me want to chase me so badly? Huh? What's this book? The nightmare started over again, and it seems I got lured into the Blackwood's trap yet again, which means I get to see Roxanne again. Score. All right. Uh, it looks like there's significantly more flowers than there were the last time. Uh... Hold on, I'm going to restart the game because I'm, I'm going to try to get rid of those pauses real quick. All right, so I restarted the game. Hopefully it fixes the pausing a little bit. Uh, what's with all the the flowers? Nope, it's still pausing. I'm not sure why that's happening. Uh, hi. Who are you? Um. Uh, are we gonna comment on the the creepy woman? In the sailor outfit? I guess not. Okay. Are there other creepy women in sailor outfits? No. Uh, the door's off. I found a shortcut to uprooting. It's faster, but involves burning your own heart. I think I have a workaround. Summon Roxanne, his name as usual. Dastany lit candles. Ensure there is an idol of black goat present in your room. Have the plant master with you. While facing a tree of the black woods, chant her name. Snuff the candles. Take that. Black goat. Roxanne Silva Scura. Hello? Oh, you're still wearing our shirt. There she is. I could stare at her forever. Hey, Roxanne. Perhaps in view of what we've been through together, you could call me Roxy? I'll call you whatever you want, Roxy. You probably don't remember, but you called me that long ago. And I've grown rather fond of it. Do you think you could call me that again? Absolutely, Roxy. Of course. I'm really glad to see you again, Roxy. <laughs> How have you been? Never better. The Thousand are at their last gasp. The only two remaining original members are Buck and Kid. I should, I should have figured that boy I met was involved. What happened to the rest? Well, Every single person Buck sent to kill you instead joined you, time and time again. So Buck sees to it that when I dream up a new reality, the traitors don't live to meet you. Buck sends somebody to kill you, they fall in love with you instead, they betray Buck, reality ends, Buck spends hundreds of years in time out. 
Then reality starts anew, Buck kills the traitor, then sends somebody else after you. Hundreds of times over. Wow. Sounds like I'm on fire. Mm. What? I've lost you many times as well. Oh. I left you in their hands? How many times? I'm fine, Stardust, really. This is all nearly over. Soon the thousand will just be a distant memory. Uh. Tackle to the ground, there's a sickening sound of wet metal scraping and a dull pressure in my stomach. My eyes shoot wide with shock. She's clawing at my clothes and neck, hunting for a grip while we struggle for leverage until eventually she collapses. Oh, Are you all right? I gasp and cover my mouth in horror. It happened so fast. I... Roxy, what do we do? Can we do the, the healing thing? You know, isn't there that one ritual? Stardust. She's dead. What? No. I... That's not possible. It was, f it was so fast. She was already at death's door from exhaustion and starvation. Falling on her weapon was the final blow that stopped her heart. That normally wouldn't even be a serious injury. Chalk it up as another death by exhaustion from the Blackwoods. She's weak because she was about to die? Is that how I escaped from that horde earlier? And if it makes any difference, she had the Sacramento stare. Her conscience was long gone. Mentally, she wasn't here for her death. She's trying to comfort me, but even if it was in self-defense, it feels like I... Mike check, one, two, Mike check. Hey, are you hearing me? That voice. It's the boy from earlier. Well, sounds like you had a bit of a nasty shock, huh? Buck's had a lot of time to reflect on how you beat him. And we've made it so it won't happen again. That explains the door. You're gonna like what we've done with the place. Let's see here. Number one, we took everything out of that room that we didn't need. No bass guitar, no nothing. You're unarmed. Number two, no door to the ritual room anymore. Nowhere safe. Eh, but you already knew that one. Number three, we begin our attack immediately. No negotiations, no honor duels, just last bitch standing from the get-go. Number four, we cleaned out the fridge as soon as you got here. So no ritual reagents for you. Number five, blast loud music to drown out our movements. That's smart. And number six, burn this list after doing everything on it so she doesn't know what's coming. <laughs> oh. Well, here's number five. Uh, what do I do? I don't know. This has never happened before. I... Nothing like this. Sounds like they're getting serious. Guess we'll have to get serious too. Uh, what are we doing? Some place where your cocoon will not be disturbed. Your organs will be liquefied, so any sudden movement will yield tragic results. Do not perform this ritual outside or near an open window. All right. Um, we could try the bath. Would the heart work? So how you guys doing? We got about a minute. Uh, AMA, I guess. Kind of grateful that they seem to be ignoring the bathroom. Oh, nope. Bad and all right. Met Roxanne. Kill the girl. All right, let's try the heart.
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Not there either. Uh, where, what am I doing? Are you still blocked? It's blocked from the other side by something purple. I can't see clearly through the keyhole either. Because of the posters? Why can't I go home? Why can't I sleep? Why can't I die? I can feel the roots like a thousand spiders on my skin. Everyone's rooted. Everyone's rooted. Where have I gone? Oh, wait. There's an open window. There's no open window. Okay. Uh, there's someone in the room. Okay, bye. Who is that? What are they doing? Were they just looking at the posters? All right, we have been rebirthed. Still really shook up by the one that rushed in. The one that you know. Yes. Death can be an upsetting thing to see, but death's shy. It's not that she's not wearing robes or a mask, she just had the stare, and she was so frail, so unlike the thousand. You have already figured it out on your own, haven't you? I didn't want you to find out. But your attackers are not members of the thousand. They're using innocent people as your assailants this time. That's fucked up. This is a concerning bit of leverage they've created. Experience has taught them they can use your humanity against you. This feels so... so different from what, I, from what little I can remember. How am I supposed to save any of them, Roxy? At this point, I know nothing I can say will stop you from trying to befriend the people actively trying to kill you. That... that does seem to be our ML, yeah. If they're under my curse of thousands... Then their admiration for Kid has been magnified to the point of fanatical idolatry. The only way to break their obsession is either by finding something else that they love even more, or by removing the object of their obsession. But 
I don't know anything about these people. Where would I even start? Hope I think of something. The knife comes free with a sickening sucking sound. I can't bring myself to use it against these poor souls, but might need it for these rituals. I wipe the blade on my skirt. Your body should now, uh, your body should be more pliable to change now. Have a knife on your person. Harvest meat from a mammal that died within the black woods within the last 24 hours. This works best if it is something that you personally killed. Chant twice while standing near your partner. The meat of something that died within the black woods in the last 24 hours. She's already dead, so there's no harm in this, right? I'll be quick about this. I promise. That should be enough, but... Carving up a dead human for their meat? I can't remember enough about myself to know if I'm better than this. The line that separates me from the thousands is getting blurrier with every go-around. Oh, do you say anything? You don't say anything. Excellent work. Very, very good. It seems we have a fighting chance against their new tactics. Hmm? What's this? A portrait of your grandfather? Oh, that's not mine. I found it while I was coming here. I figured one of the people who went missing dropped it. Wait, if somebody went out of their way to frame this, they probably care deeply about whoever's in this photo. What if it's one of the people chasing me around? If I could reunite this with its owner, maybe they'll realize they love the guy in the photo more than Kid and leave. Brilliant as ever, my shining star. But be careful and observant. This photo might protect you from its rightful owner, but it'll have no effect on anybody else. Right. I'll keep an eye out for other dropped keepsakes while going through the rituals. So we gotta go to the kitchen next. If the ritual is successful, you should be able to see something glued between the next pages. If so, you can now sense living things on the verge of death. Your map will now automatically reveal dying things within range. Uh, I don't see anything glued. Was that a choice that we just made? Hi. Can I talk to you? What's that? Guess not. What's that? Okay. Can we do something about that? One rot bloom flower. Do not attempt the research in a room with more than one rot, rot bloom. I don't, I don't get this mechanic right here. What are we doing?
Okay, so I, I think there is something glued there, but how do I get to it? So that wasn't a choice that we made. What are we doing here? The emaciated body of the girl that attacked me. She looks even skinnier up close, poor thing. So there's the girl with the bat. And I can't interact with her. She's right there. I can go downstairs as soon as I turn that way. Okay. So, do I just not turn around? I don't like that. Whose phone is this? Definitely not my sister's. I've never seen this number from mom before. I'll hold on to it. Maybe I can return it to whoever owns this later. Ah! There you are. I call back the number from the missed calls. I put it on speaker. Erica! Thank goodness I was worried sick! Mama? What happened to you? Where did you go? Why did you leave? I'll try to be a better mom. I... You didn't do anything wrong. I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Sweetie, please come home. I'm coming, Mom. Thank you. Uh, we did it. All right, so there's something in here. Unusually pungent spices. Looks like cooking oil. Beautifully morbid looking flower. This must be the rat bloom. I hope you appreciate the situation you're in. We can do this forever. Tell me who the bookmaker is. Over my dead body. Accommodate that. <sighs> Given up? Finally. My arms are getting tired. She never breaks. This is a waste of time. We'll have to find leads on our own. She told you she was from here, right? Yeah, but I think she was lying. In case she wasn't, check every house. Starting with the ones near our base. Find a photo. Something left behind that proves that she lived there. What? Oh! That's like dozens of houses, though. I gotta do that all by myself after burying her. <sighs> if it makes you feel any better, this is the worst day of my life, too. I, I don't think our situations are the same. Buck wants to know who the bookmaker is and where I live. If he knew either piece of information, he could find me long before I made it to this house. Before I know what's going on, even. If that happens, I'll be all out of, re out of redos. I'm going to try not to think too hard about it, or about the soft pulsations of my own heart in my hands. Uh, back to the bedroom. I don't understand why it's pausing all of a sudden. It wasn't doing this the other night. So that's the tell for the Ingawa. Or not? How was I supposed to avoid that?
Akabaka, what is this? What am I doing? Despite the circumstances, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Roxy, but... But what? What's troubling you, my shooting star? I just saw all the flowers I've left. Each one holds the memory of another time I didn't make it. I wouldn't advise seeing any more echoes of past realities. Believe me, I've had my fill, but it's just so strange to realize how many times you've gone around. I was thinking the same thing. To think Buck hasn't given up after all this time, it's strange. Whenever my followers achieve lifespans so long that it borders on immortality, they usually end their lives within a year. Without the ticking clock, there's no reason to do anything today, tomorrow, this month, ever. Even with my powers, the longest a human has ever chosen to live is 125 years. Buck is thousands of years old now. To think he hasn't gotten tired of this yet. Roxy, it's okay. I've made it to the last ritual again. You're almost out of here. What? You managed to get through everything. Ah, oh, well, we kind of phoned it in with the outsourced killers, huh? But they're still useful for just one more thing. Check this out. You're gonna love it. I don't like that. Oh, there's nothing I hate more than people that run from burning buildings. If anyone did that, I wouldn't love them anymore. There's just something so beautiful about someone who could sing their love for me amidst the fires of passion until they drop dead. <laughs> Do you see now? If you uproot the woods, everybody burns. In, in this reality, but not in every reality. Make your choice. That's his game? Turning his fans into hostages? I can't just give myself up, but I can't send innocent people to their demise. Is there a right move? Remember, there is a third option. If you uproot me and then kill Kid, his followers will flee, the object of their lust dead. Die, let die, or kill. I know these are impossible choices for you especially, but whatever choice you make, I'm behind you 100%, my starlight. Thank you. The truth is, I can't make any of those choices. They've got me trapped three different ways. I still have a faint hope that being stubborn will see me through this. If I find all the hostages keepsakes, there's a chance I won't be forced to make a choice. So we've already been in there. Can't go in there. I didn't see anything in here earlier. Anything on the balcony? Huh, looks like someone left their CD player here. It's covered in punk stickers. Through the headphones, I can hear an acoustic song playing. Sounds homemade. Must have belonged to one of the folks hiding around, out around here. Guess I'll hold on to it for now. So there's one. We've got four more. I don't think that there's anything in here. I don't think there's anything in here. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Alright, so this whole side of the house is just dead, I think. 
Can try the TV room. This is dangerous. Let's go back. Close it. Close it. Thank you. I stand a safe distance away and pull out the cracked portrait I found earlier. Ooh, what have you got there, dearie? So, so handsome. Is that my, is that my Angus? Oh, that's my Angus. <laughs> oh, thank you. She turns and leaves as quickly as she can. So don't turn off the music. Got it. So right now we've got the headphones. a severed head on the table a note tied in its hair reads for you my love the ultimate souvenir the head belongs to one half of that pop duo on the tv i take the head someone out there must be looking for her. space you're the rocker okay i crank the volume as high as it can go and hit play an acoustic song starts what is that music her voice i've definitely got the right person don't you recognize who that is wait i know who that is that's me that's my song that's me are you serious but it's so good i i sound like that i give her back her cd player she quickly puts the headphones on she crawls away, nodding her head along with the music. It looks like there's something over there. Oh, a wallet. The ID says it belongs to Kenji Ito. It says here he just turned 22 today. Either the poor guy's wandered in here by mistake or he's with the ones chasing me. Hauling on to this could come in handy. So let's go give everybody their stuff. Oh, 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 oh. 
if there's still anybody here, I guess. Are you Kenji? Happy birthday, Kenji. What? It says your birthday today. It's it's your birthday today, isn't it? Isn't this yours? You remembered my birthday. <laughs> it, it's my birthday. <laughs> Someone remembered my birthday. He stumbles off, wiping away his flowing tears. Hey, don't forget your wallet. I'll drop it off at the police station later. That means that the severed head is the only thing that's left. Alright, now we want the girl with the knife in the sailor outfit. If she's still around. Which it doesn't appear that she is. There we go. I present the head of the idol. I saw you two on TV. Any chance for a reunion tour? Thank you very much. They leave, harmonizing until they're too far away for me to hear. Uh, lost and found, return all five beloved keepsakes to their rightful owners. I think that we're safe now, so we should just be able to return to perform the ritual. Why was she why was she so aggressive when I was just trying to go like back and forth and then disappeared when I was trying to find her? Are we heartburning again? did that. If your relationship with Roxanne Silva Oscura has soured or you no longer wish to have the earth consumed by the Black Woods, this ritual is the only way for you to rid your reality of them. For now, this ritual will cause the Black Woods to burn to ash and the hearts will return to their dormant state. This will allow you to escape from the Black Woods, but be warned, you can never meaningfully leave the Black Woods once you've entered them. The previous ritual should have exposed the roots. No further reagents or rituals are needed to burn them. Go to the heart of the woods while facing a heart chant. I nod absently. My thoughts are preoccupied with what's to come. Did I make the right choice? You told me once. Nothing is worth regret. Memories and lessons are all worthwhile. Your story is still being written. 
Even if this chapter ends differently than you'd hoped. I thought that was an insightful thing of you to say. Thank you, Roxy. And thank you, my starlight. Take care. And be good. Alright, time to escape. There is a speedrunner somewhere right now figuring out the optimal way to get out of the house as it's burning. And I'm just doing this. Who are you? They didn't turn back to look at me. Not even for a second. Use the Blackwood to warp their desire. Of course their adoration wasn't genuine. I didn't know! When I suddenly got popular, I didn't guess it was because I was brainwashing everybody. All I knew was that everyone I met in Sacramento would become my biggest fan. That's all Buck told me. But if all of it was fake, what was it all for? The killings. So many people died over this. His eyes are back to normal. His desire for his fans' adoration is zero. The Black Woods, the Black Woods can't amplify anything as it burns. He was using you to feed the woods and to catch me, and you only fell for it because you were brainwashed too. You should go. You think I'd save everyone else but you? Come on, let's go. And go where? If the police didn't know I'm connected to every disappearance over the last year, they know now that we let a dozen witnesses go, and now that the woods are burning, I've got nowhere to hide. My life's over. They're not gonna buy a four-eyed goat from outer space made me do it. Everything I was working so hard for. It all vanished the second I set foot in this awful town. If I had any idea. You know, I heard your song on the radio before the disappearances started. Lonely Devil? It was pretty good. <laughs> good grief. At least I still have that. I'm turning myself in. I'll take whatever sentence I get quietly. And then, if I ever get out, I'm starting over in earnest. He leaves, disappearing into the fog like his fans before him. I follow shortly after, bidding farewell to my home yet another time. I walk until the house becomes a small flicker in the distance. Strange. I didn't usually make it this far, right? Did I do it? Am I finally free of the nightmares? Wait. What's that? We got the true ending first try. Kid has left the thousand. All right. Sucker for Love, Chapter 1000. We will be back in the next video for the exciting finale to Sucker for Love, Date to Die For. Uh, hopefully it will be everything that you guys want. Uh, I'm going to get out of here for now. I love you. You guys have a good night, and I will see you in the next episode.